Welcome back. 441 now on Daybreak. And over the weekend was the return of the fourth annual Asian Food and Cultural Festival. It's a festival full of diverse cultures and performances and cuisine, of course. Daybreak's Alexander Rios Melvia spoke with one of the vendors about how festivals like these open doors for businesses like theirs. Also carry Hawaiian Kenji. Kenny Wong is a food fanatic. I will go anywhere, wait any certain of time just to try good food. Her friend opened up Waki Pokey and Grill and asked nice Kenny to come mangoes. to Buffalo to help run the business. And they both just had one goal in mind. Bring happiness to people through food. A lot of their plates served here are Asian mixed foods that have Hawaiian influences. In Hawaii, <laughs> a lot of dishes are Asian mixes because the immigrants came from Asia and, and Portuguese and then there's like a mix of that. One of their most popular plates is the one she's making right now, a pokey bowl. This dish usually consists of rice with the choice of protein like tuna, salmon and many more options. The goal is to be fast and quick. If the food is fresh, that's why I want to serve. But if it's something that I wouldn't even want to serve or want to eat, I want to serve at all to our customers. So I think that is what keeps our bringing our customers back because we haven't done any advertisements. We've just been sitting here for a year. Asian food and cultural festival organizer Jasmine Chen says these young entrepreneurs are inspiring a new generation and they don't even know it. You know many of the restaurant owners and then they're getting older and then they tend to sell their restaurant because their kids or next younger generation they do not want to continue the restaurant business. This is making me more excited when I reach out to those young entrepreneurs and business uh, restaurant owners. They want to stay in Buffalo. They want to open another location. The Western New York Chinese Chamber of Commerce expects at least 6,000 people this year. There will be all kinds of free performances and diverse food options. Different type of way to experience all different types of food. So we want to bring that different uniqueness to the festival. On your side in Buffalo, Alexandria's Malvia, Channel 2 News.